When we first met, I was three and Scott was four. Our parents bought homes back to back. And they hadn't put up the walls yet in our backyards. So our moms were standing there trying to get us to say hi to each other. And we were both just kind of peeking at each other around our mother's legs. So we'd walk to school together and walk home together. One day, we were walking home from school. We were probably in first grade, I'm guessing. And it was a really windy, blustery day. And I had an umbrella with me. And I decided I was going to fly like Mary Poppins. So I was running ahead down the street on Sherman Way and trying to fly. And Scott <laughs> was standing behind me going, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. It's not going to work. <laughs> you were always taking things apart to see how they worked. I remember later when we were teenagers, you were so passionate about things. You even became a vegetarian because you cared about animals so much. I think we complement each other very well. As a team, we always say we make one really good person together. I've always been the dreamer, and then he tells me why that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of how the idea of Solar Roadways came around. It was about 10 years ago. We were working out in our garden one day, and Julie turned to me and says, can't you make electric roads out of solar panels? And at first, I kind of laughed and said, now you can't even step on those things, let alone drive on them. And she dropped it. And then I kept thinking about it. And about a week later, I came back around. And I said, you know what? If we could make some kind of structurally engineered case, this might work. Your typical inventor has about $20,000 to sink into his or her invention. And that can come from their own bank account, come from family members or friends. But that's about the capital you have to work with, if that's all you do. Indiegogo gives you a platform to let other people who don't know you, who like your idea, to get it out there and say, would you like to fund this? If you got an invention that you want to make on your own, this gives you an opportunity like, and like none other. It's nerve wracking. That's part of being an inventor. You don't know where your next paycheck's coming from. You don't know this or that, but this is an opportunity. It was what Thomas Edison said. He said, I didn't fail 10,000 times. I found 10,000 ways not to make a light bulb. <laughs> Throughout the campaign, I mean, at the end, we were told we had contributions from all 50 states and over 48,000 donors from 165 different countries. It sank in big time twice when he made the million dollar goal then we closed out at 2.2 million then you think about what that means and over 48,000 people around the world opened their wallets and said we want to be a part of this we want to help make this happen i'll admit i didn't know anything about global warming when it started hitting the news what was it 10 years ago and being an engineer as an engineer you create solutions you solve problems and i kept thinking I got tired of hearing it. Why doesn't somebody fix this thing if it's a problem? Nobody's fixing this. Because I'm thinking global warming, they're talking about the atmosphere, I'm thinking a meteorologist, who fixes that? Why aren't they doing it? But then when I started getting educated, I realized it's such a huge problem. People look at what we're doing and they think, well, they're trying to save the environment. Or it's not our backyard, it's not the sky over our house we're trying to save, it's everybody's. We're trying to make a better world for everybody's grandchildren, not just ours. And Indiegogo gave us that platform. We would just love to thank everybody who has contributed to our campaign. We can't tell you what a blessing it's been, how much it's meant to us. And what it will do for Solar Roadways. To, is, this was our way of launching. We are hiring people now. We have a building now. We're going to be putting public installations in next year. We couldn't have done that without the contributions. We didn't have to take on an investor. We're able to maintain control and take care of this project and make sure it's run properly. And that's just meant the world to us. We've still got people constantly asking us, you know, can we still contribute? Can we still get a t-shirt or a coffee mug? So we've reopened our Indiegogo campaign. It's for a long time when Indiegogo ended, you couldn't get those things anymore. And now that we've reopened our campaign, they're available again and people can help us and contribute to Solar Roadways and help us make it happen.